Take a look at this question. My C section scar still hurts years later. What could be causing the pain? That's mm. from Chantel T. Okay, so first of all, OBGYNs, a lot of people don't know this. We are surgeons. We have surgical training. Why? Because we do major abdominal and pelvic surgery like C sections, laparotomies, hysterectomies, etc. When you talk about a C section scar, the most common one is also known as the bikini cut. It's called a fan mm -hmm. and steel incision. When we make that incision, we cut through nerves, um, and so pain, residual pain from a scar anywhere in your body could be superficial or it could be deep. Typically, we think of superficial pain as involving the nerves on the surface of the skin, which tend to heal the vast majority of times, so that's unusual to have that residual pain. Deep pain after any surgical procedure could be due to internal scar tissue, which we call adhesions, um, which is much more difficult to test for because there's not a simple way to test for it. Um, but this is something that any OBGYN, any surgeon is usually familiar with dealing with. And, and it's rare. Fortunately, it's rare, but if it happens to you, it's super annoying. But how can you rid the pain? That, that becomes difficult. Again, if you try to find the, the root cause of it, you deal with that. If it's something very superficial, um, there's not ways to numb that area. You know, mm. you want to go away from something long-term, like mm. a, a pain-killing medication for that. You want to try to deal with the root cause. But that's a hard area to have constant pain mm. in. Yes, it is. All right, um, your prescription for wellness. Okay, staying on the surgical theme, um, just some tips on how to heal well in terms of your skin incision uh, after surgery and after having done hundreds and hundreds of operations. This was kind of my uh, tips as well. You want to wash your hands before and after touching your incision. Even though there's always bacteria on the surface of your skin, uh, you want to keep that area clean and dry. So after you shower, um, using a hair dryer, believe it or not, from a far distance can, can dry those stitches or those steri strips. You want to monitor for unusual redness, warmth, or swelling in the area. And if you notice that, you want to call your surgeon right away and I used to literally take a ballpoint pen and mark that area of redness mm -hmm. so you can see if it expands and then you should always obviously ask when those stitches or steri strips or tapes can be removed if you have little tapes on your skin we normally say leave them on until the edges start to roll off on their own and then you can peel them off all right doc thank you very much you and folks we'd love to hear from you so hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for dr. Jen at ABC GMA 3 well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.